skill one addition. The idea behind the column method is firstly splitting the number up into its place values, i.e. the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and, and so on. Then you can add those individually. This breaks it down to adding effectively just single digits every time, and then you can handle really, really big problems without having to worry what 16,240 plus 581 is. You can just focus individually, so you can do one plus seven and, and so on. It's just the individual parts. What I mean by that is, say for example, we had 2,347, and we wanted to add 581. You could maybe do this without using the column method. It's a little bit tricky um, and definitely a lot of room for mistakes. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this little grid here. Now, the vertical lines here, the ones going up and down, aren't necessary, but they'll serve to illustrate a point. I can split this up into the individual parts. So I can write 2, 3, 4, 7. You can see the vertical lines separate each column. So I can see my digits or my ones, I can see the tens, I can see the hundreds, and I can see the thousands. I'll, see, I'll do the exact same thing for 581. So that ends up here, and you always align it to the right. Then I'll add just a little plus here to remind us that we're adding. And then you can see I've split it all up. I can focus on just the ones. Let's work those out first. So you always work from right to left. So seven plus one, well, that's eight. Four plus eight, that's 12. Now we can't put 12 in this column because it's a two digit number and we can only put a single digit in each column. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put the two from the 12 there, then I'm gonna put a little one here and that's just to remind me that I'm carrying over the one or effectively the 10 from the previous column. Then I've got three plus five, that's eight, but don't forget the one that I'm carrying over. Eight plus one is nine, so I'll put a nine in here. Then I've got two plus nothing, so two plus zero effectively, which is just two. Then we know our final answer is 2,928, which of course you could check on the calculator or try and work out without using the column method, but this is a great way of solving problems where there are a little bit more complex numbers and harder to deal with. You can break it down into individual steps. You can use the column method for subtraction in a very similar way. So, for example, if we wanted to do 3,407, take away 1,625. Again, you might be able to do this without the column method, but it'll be really tricky. So to start with, I'm going to draw it on our grid. Again, we don't need the vertical lines, but it shows nicely how we're separating the individual digits. So like that. And again, I'll add a little subtraction sign there. So you need to always make sure the number you're subtracting from, so in this case we're subtracting 1,625 from 3,407, is on top. Okay? So with that said, now it's split up into the individual parts. So I'm going to do 7, take away 5. Well, that's 2. Then I want to do 0, take away 2. Now, depending on how far you've got, you might think, well, we can't do that, or you might think minus 2. We don't want to deal with negatives here. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to steal one. So I'm going to knock one off there and make it free. And then this becomes 10 because of course I've, I've stolen one from the next column, but that is one place value higher. So 10 lots of this column. So now I've got 10 take away two, which is just eight. Then I'm going to have to do the same thing for the next column because three take away six, well, we can't do it or we get negative three, which is, we don't want that. We don't want negatives. So I'm going to borrow one from here. Make that a 2, and then that becomes 13. So now I've got 13 take away 6. 13 take away 6 is 7. Then I've just got 2 take away 1, which is 1. So our final answer is 1,782. Note that if you need to subtract a bigger number from a smaller number, as in you expect a negative answer, you can do the column method with the bigger number on top and then simply stick a minus sign in front of your answer. What I mean by that is, say, for example, we had 347 take away 651, well, you'll be able to see straight away this is going to be a negative answer. 651 is bigger than 347, so it'll be less than zero. Now, you could maybe do the column method like this, but it ends up really tricky. Instead, to make it easier for ourselves, we're going to write the bigger number on top, so 651, the smaller number on the bottom, like that, then do it exactly the same as you would normally, so 1 take away 7, we can't do that, 
So we'll borrow one from this column. That becomes 11. 11 take away 7 is 4. 4 take away 4 is 0. 6 take away 3 is 3. So then I can say that this is 304. But you might be looking at that and thinking, well, that doesn't make any sense. But as soon as I stick a negative there, the answer will be correct. So you can work out the other way around and then just stick the negative sign in front.